Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to an episode of analyzing my subscribers and a long time no speak guys I haven't posted in about a month and that's just because I've it's summer holidays I'm out I'm doing things I was away in Colorado then I was away in Scotland and I was just um, enjoying my holiday really not really having to feel the not really pressure but not really feeling the need to post but I thought you know what, I'm back now I, I want to start getting posting again but uh, I'm finding a lot of games boring and just dull to play I get frustrated when I go on for about 20 minutes and play a game I'm off it instantly I just get bored so um, I can't wait for FIFA 12 and I know you lot can't wait for FIFA 12 because uh, it's gonna bring a lot of fresh fresh ideas fresh videos and I certainly have a lot of those so uh, let's get straight into it this uh, series if you guys didn't know cuz this I did this a while ago is where I, I ask a question on Twitter and I, I did it or Facebook actually I do it on both but today I just did it on Twitter and um, today I asked who is my Russian league team striker and it happened to be Dumbia the first person to reply gets their um, gets their team featured in this video and so I did and uh, this guy replied with Dumbia and that is correct so let's get straight to it guys and um, so he's got a Serie A league team and uh, he's starting his chemistry is really good 98 that's more than enough um, He's got 98, and his team is pretty good. It's kind of like a budgety team. No one, no informs in there, which make the price crazy or anything. But uh, I, this series is where I basically uh, say what I would have instead and um, why I would have them instead. But it's it's no, it's all personal preference. So what I say doesn't always go, but it's just a, it's more of a personal preference thing. So you guys can take my advice if you want. If not, then that's completely fine because you all. Um, play differently and this is the way I would play so we'll start off at the top we'll work our way down so uh, coming in at the striker position we have Cavani and Cavani is a bit of a beast a great all-round player and a good budget player he doesn't cost a lot of money but he can do everything he's got decent finishing decent pace um, but as you guys know I like pace up front and you guys know that from me having Dumbi in my team and so maybe I'd probably might swap him out for someone like Eto or someone like that just because I like pace up front and eto has got 90 pace so that would um, that would probably work in my favor but once again Cavani is a great all-round player and he's cheap and that's what makes him really such a great player moving down the chain the food chain of FIFA Ultimate Team we have Cassano on the left of the two center attacking midfields players so uh, Cassano if you guys don't know I do talk about him a lot in most a lot of videos because I think he is one of the best players in this game he's got five star skills which make him fun to play with um, he's also got the flare trait which basically means he can do the Rabona and his finesse shots are just wild and they're I don't, I don't know what it is about him, but his, his pace stat isn't that high, but he can run past a lot of players. So he's extremely underrated and a player that I really admire in this game and I think is um, a bit of a hidden gem if you don't have him. But this guy does have him, so he obviously knows what he's doing. So moving on to the right, we have Hamsik. Now Hamsik is similar to Cavani in the sense that um, in the sense that he's kind of like a budget player, a great all-round player. Decent passing, decent pace, decent shot, you know, just a really solid player, and he's really good in the middle. If you were looking for someone with a bit more skill, then someone like Menes would be um, Menes, who plays for Roma. He's he's kind of more your player. He's got five-star skill and flair, and I'd probably swap him out for that just because um, I, I find Menes uh, just a really good player in general. I will be doing a skill school episode on him, so keep an eye out for that. And um, I, I don't know, that's personal preference. I'd have Menes in there. But once again, Hamsik, great player and uh, really solid player in the middle. So he's someone you guys should definitely look out for because he is quite cheap. Moving on to the right, we have uh, Pato, Alexander Pato. And uh, he is, I wouldn't swap him on the right. He's perfect there where he is. Um, he plays for AC Milan and he's got five-star skill, flair, an absolute shot on him. Great at dribbling and is probably... One of the best players in this game. He's so good, and he's so and he's got decent pace, and um, I I think he's a I think he's a really good player just because he can do everything, and uh, that's what a lot of players. I mean, they're really good at one thing, lack in another thing. This guy, he's just a beast all round. So if you haven't tried out Pato, then I highly recommend it. Moving way over to the other side to left midfield position, we have Vargas. And uh, he's he's a good player. I'm, uh, his rating is pretty decent. I reckon his rating should be a little higher, maybe 83, maybe 84. I'm not too sure. But 
For me, I'd personally swap him out for someone like Rubinho. Rubinho's so quick, and um, he's got good skills as well. So, I mean, I'm not trying to turn this into a skills team, but this is just what I would do because, you know, I like to do skills in my team, and uh, that's what I find them really effective if you can do um, if you can do them properly and in the right, like, um, situation. So... Personally, I swap Rubinho out for Vargas, but Vargas, even he's cheaper than Rubinho, and uh, he's got a higher rating. If if you judge players on their rating, that's not something that I like to do. But uh, Rubinho is an 81, I believe. I think uh, you probably have to double check. But um, Vargas is really good. He sprints down the ring, and he's got good crossing, and that's what you want. But that's why I would have someone like Eto, a bit taller and um, just a bit more powerful in the middle, I guess, than uh, Cavani. So then we have in the middle, he's got him in center forward here, but he this is Barreto or Barato. I, I'm pretty sure it's Barreto, but uh, I actually spoke to the guy. He says he usually has Hernandez in the middle. Or, or sorry, not Hernandez. What am I talking about? Hernanes in the middle, who is a great player. He is really good. His long shots are wild. Like wild is in really good. They dip like crazy. And uh, he's, a very impressive, he's a very impressive player. Although personally... I would have Schneider in the middle. The only reason why I would have it is because he, in seeing that little uh, square or diamond shape thing, if he's at the back there, he has like 90 passing or something like that. Uh, really good passing, so he can distribute the ball perfectly. And if you can do that, you're going to be a really good attacking threat, and you'll constantly pressure their defense. And that's why I would have someone with really good passing in a kind of deep position like that. But that's just for me. As far as the back four goes, he's pretty much got it perfect. Um, it, this is that's a crazy back four. It's a really good back four. Left wing back, you might want to change him to a left back, but you know, 98 chemistry is not much point. Um, Risa released the Kraken for you, some of you guys. You might know him from that. Um, he's got a wild long shot and a really good powerful free kicks. In the middle, you have Lucio, who is a very impressive player. He's so strong and fast, and so is Thiago Silva. Um, both both of those center backs are two of my favorite center backs in the game. Such beasts and animals, and they're quick, and that's that's why they're so good. Is because they can keep up with those strikers, and they could easily keep keep up with Cavani. That's why once again I might have someone like Eto in. And a, a right wing back you have uh, Zanetti. Zanetti is a really good budget sort of right back player, really good and uh, does what you need. Then at goalkeeper you have Julius Cesar, and uh, he's very good. You might want to have Buffon in there depending on what you like but uh, the Brazilian that keeps their chemistry up and uh, he does the job for me so I just want to say thanks a lot guys for watching obviously you guys may have someone else um, that you would put in instead of me but it's all just personal opinion personal preference whatever um, I have a Facebook and Twitter those will be in the description if you're interested in being part of it for next time I hope you guys enjoyed this video and leaving a rating or whatever is just uh, much appreciated it helps my videos get out there I guess it really helps me out you know so uh, thanks all guys for watching. See you guys in a bit. Bye-bye.